Vince Carter. It's a two foot on the line. Yeah, LG has to get up on him. And that's another one of the things they do well. They average over the six and a half rejections a game. Vince Carter. This and it's 13 to three. Pulls can be all the way out to the top of the key. Now look at the defensive intensity. Good by the Knicks. It's now they're well. asserting themselves. He's got his forearm buried into Vince Carter's chest. One handed shot. A thing of beauty from Vince Carter. He's a powerful man at 6'6", 225, so overwhelming spree that time. Hope you saw the uh, highlights in his diary in game night tonight. He's had about 150 of these this season. Look at the power of three wells, 6'5", about 200, no match for this man. One-handed shot, Thomas and Thomas. Good-looking crossover dribble by Alvin Williams. And Vince Carter hits from 15. Here's another episode. Carter in the face of Kurt Thomas, who gives him a little headbutt to get out of the way. And then Larry Johnson intercedes. <laughs> Carter's a rookie. Jeff Van Gundy and Butch Carter. They are looking for Christie against Charles. That's the mismatch. D. Brown launches one in for Christie. He's doubled. D. Brown for three. Air ball. Saved by Kevin Willis. Vince Carter for three. He hits. As we mentioned, last night it was Buechler from downtown. And now another big three bomb by Carter. 87-81. It stuns the garden. Timeout. A minute 11 to go. Sprewell now was guarding Carter. He can't get back because he was guarding Willis because he went with the double team. Carter making them pay. In the backcourt, the Knicks press. One minute to go. Knicks need the ball, and they need a stop. They yep. haven't gotten many of those. Fouls are crucial here. Both teams in the penalty. Fans in it with the defense chant, and the Knicks need defense. Vince Carter forgotten about, and he hits another. Vince Carter as wide open as you can be. Two consecutive threes. The Knicks allow an opposition to shoot 35%.